I'm super excited to make this next video how to do an ollie. I really wasn't sure if people were gonna watch my how to drop in video but I got a couple really cool responses that were just like really inspiring and really motivating for me to make another video because I feel like you guys are getting excited and you are getting inspired and the video actually helped someone you know which is awesome like that's the whole point of the video like I just want to like help you guys learn how to skateboard because it's like the most fun thing so this next video I'm gonna teach you how to do an ollie we'll get to it after I walk my puppy I need to tire her out first hey say hi <laughs> oh no <laughs> So for doing an ollie, you're going to want to snap your tail, slide your front foot, and then pop so your board levels out in the air. I usually have my back foot like right on my tail. My front foot is behind my front bolt. So like even sometimes it's in the middle of the board. So your back foot is on your tail and your front foot is behind your bolts. I usually go like two to four inches behind my bolts. Snap your tail and then your front foot slides up like that and then you jump, basically lifting your back foot so your board can level out in the air and then you come down all together all at once. I think one of the best ways to learn ollies, pretend that you're ollieing over something, a crack. So, like, there's that crack, this crack right there. I think that's actually the first crack I ever successfully ollied over. I think I'm gonna have a video of that, so I'll look and see if I can find that and throw that clip in here. So, ollie over cracks because that's really important and a really good way to just kind of like get the concept of doing an ollie and then bigger cracks you know and then maybe try to ollie onto something or out of a bank or something like that but we'll do some more ollies over the crack Okay, I'm gonna ollie over the cone. Yeah. Like that. Pointers to remember, keep your knees bent. When you're first learning them, you kind of want to look down at your board just so you can see where your feet are and making sure that they're in a comfortable position. But once you do snap your tail, it's a good idea to kind of look in front of you. Just the tiniest push forward and just do it really slow. Or even a good idea is doing it in the grass or doing it in the dirt. So you're not going to like slide around. You're not going to go back and forth and your board's not going to slip out from under you. And then once you do like try to ollie over a crack. Just a tiny little push forward. Snap, slide, jump, level out. <laughs> Keep your knees back, always. Like, everything in skateboarding. Keep your knees back. Um, what was I gonna say? I try to remember everything and then... And nothing's going through my mind. The, um, ollieing is easier if you're moving forward. If you're just doing it still, you're just standing still, 
it's a lot easier to kind of like wiggle back and forth and lose your balance. So even when you're just beginning and you can barely get your back wheels off the ground, just a, move a little bit forward, just a tiny bit, and it'll help a lot, I promise. When you're ready to try to start awing over something, like take a crack, just like the tiniest crack, not like a big crack that you're gonna get your wheel stuck in. Just like literally a line. Just a tiny crack, so it's like a really good thing to start awing over. After that is riding off a curb, awing off a curb a little bit. That's like a good thing because you can kind of just ride off and you don't really have to focus on like snapping your tail and really doing like an actual really poppy ollie, you know? You can kind of ride off of her, kind of like phantom ghost pop, you know, like where you're not actually doing it and then kind of just get more used to it and more used to it until you are like, you know, comfortable with the motion. Riding off of a little curb and like doing an ollie off it. Just like practice it, just like do it like a hundred times, you know? And you're going to learn it, I swear you will get the ollie. It's, it's such a fun trick. You can ollie onto stuff, off of stuff, into banks, out of banks, over stuff, under stuff. can't really ollie under stuff. I mean, you probably could. Someone probably could. Well, hopefully my ollie tricks helped you. Um, if they did, like this video. And if you have any questions, comment below. If you want to know when my next video comes out, subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I think I covered all um, of the tips that I think you should know to um, figure out how to learn how to ollie. Um, if this video helps you or inspires you and uh, you get out there and you start trying to ollie and you get it, that is so awesome and I'm so happy and thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it and hopefully it inspires some people. Another tip about ollies. Just do them all the time. Just practice them all the time. Do them everywhere because um, they're going to take time to learn. And you're only going to get better at them if you keep doing them. So just do them, practice them every day, every time you skateboard. You know, just do a couple ollies, you know. You're going to get better at them. You're going to get good at them. They're going to be just like the funnest thing you've done. Right, Nala? They're going to be the funnest trick.